Okay, I'm going to do this tutorial uh, by videotaping the screen instead of what I normally do, which is uh, just screen capturing, because uh, this new version of Make Human uh, is a beta and or an alpha version rather, and it's a bit on the unstable side. I don't want the screen capture software to kind of <clears throat> um, kind of make things crash. So this is Make Human. I'm going to show you the, a few of the new features, uh, how to use the Make Human software and how to import your model into Blender so that you can animate it. So when you first start with Make Human, you get this kind of androgynous, weird, half man, half woman character. And uh, it's very simple to change that to what you want by sliding the gender slider to one side or the other. So you slide to the right, you get a guy. Slide to the left, you get a girl. Okay. So there's a guy, and then you can change the age. You can make him very old, for example, or you can make him very, very young. Oh boy and anywhere in between. So let's make it more like me, okay? And then of course the tone, you can make him more muscular. That's it, I'm just as that toned as that guy. <laughs> so anyway, um, navigating is pretty simple. You just um, uh, drag in the empty areas of the screen with the left mouse button to orbit, middle mouse button to zoom, and right mouse button to pan, all right? And then of course you have control over just the basic features here, the weight, the height, okay, and then uh, I'm not sure why there's only two racial settings. There's Afro, African, and then there's Asian. Um, but I guess by combining these two sliders, you can get anywhere in between. All right, so you can make it however you want. Okay. Although I haven't seen the actual skin tones or colors change. So you'd probably have to take the textures and put them into Photoshop if you wanted to change the actual skin colors. All right, so um, let's go to some of the more basic stuff. Uh, go to torso, for example. And some of these sliders are, are pretty useful. For example, this one here, the ones that have the dotted lines actually change uh, the size of something. You can see I'm changing the width of his torso. But some of these are kind of strange, like these ones here that just have arrows just move something around. So if I drag this, you see it actually moves his torso. I don't know too many people who have a bent torso like this. Maybe if you're doing like a hunchback character, that might be useful. Otherwise, I don't see the point in that. Okay. So that is the basics of it. So you go through each section, you know, the arms and legs, the, the face, for example. Obviously, you're going to be doing a lot of time changing the facial shape. This, this one will give it more of a pointed look. Okay, that's kind of strange. You can get all sorts of manner of strange shapes there. Uh, we can go to the nose and then you can... Try. Now when you tap on something, if it, if it wants you to see it from a certain side, it will move the camera there for you. So you can see here we could put a divot in the nose here. Make the nose more kind of pointed or whatever. Okay, so I'll let, leave you to, to these types of things. Uh, you can just go ahead and play around with the different areas of the person. Kind of move the chin in and out. Okay, give them like a block draw there. Looks pretty ticked off there. Uh, one thing that's important here that wasn't really in some of the other uh, modes was this micro mode where you can actually uh, highlight a part of the object and move it around. And you'll have to turn on, let's see, asymmetry. Well, that's if you want to have things that are not symmetrical across. But the micro mode actually only, I think, works. Let's see, we'll grab the ear, for example. Move the ear around here. Let's see here. It only, see, the, 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 uh, the micro mode actually only works in an asymmetrical manner. So if you drag on the one ear, the other ear is not going to be changed. So just uh, keep that in mind. Oh, I'm sorry. You can turn it uh, symmetrical that way. Okay. Uh, and you can do scale instead of move. So I could scale this part of the nose. Okay. It's very, very easy to get your model all screwed up. So by doing this, uh, the geometry can fold in on itself. So I would go ahead and only do that after you have, um, after you have, uh, you know, saved your model. Go into the file section and save it. Okay. Actually, now that we're in the file section, let's just go ahead and show you the export option. So if we go into export, 
okay? Uh, you'll see we have uh, several different options. And what's nice is that we have our own Blender Exchange format, MHX format, okay? And so I'm gonna say, okay, uh, version 2.5, view on the ground, you have all these different options. And uh, you can choose uh, to have it build a rig for you so that you can use the MHX format rig, Rigify, uh, there's several different rigging options. I'm going to go through a couple of these and show you what they're what they're about. Okay, so I've already done this, so I'm going to quit out of this, and then we'll bring in a uh, recently created model in here. You have to go in your user preferences under add-ons and add the uh, MHX format if you want to import the MHX format. All right. So uh, we, once we've done that, Make Human becomes available in the import section. And then we can just turn on, for example, test one. This was the one that was created with the MHX rig. Okay. So I'm going to go into my display here. I'm going to turn up the number of lines here. So you can see he's a little bit on the large size. You can um, change his size in the preferences as well. Another good thing is, let me go ahead and create... Oh, I'm in pose mode. Shift A, and I'm going to create a lamp. And then we'll go to textured mode. Okay, my textures aren't showing because I'm in multi-texture. Under shading, I need to go to GLSL. And so as you can see here, the textures have been imported. All right, so there's nothing I really have to do. I've got the uh, skin textures imported for me. And as you can see, this was the MHX format that they, uh, MHX format rig that they created for me. So as you can see here, it comes pre-rigged and there are a ton of controls on this character. So you can start moving his eyes around. Uh, it has facial controls and everything like that. You can see his mouth is moving here when we move this control around. So it's nice that I didn't have to do any of that. It's all uh, uh, built for me. Uh, there is an issue though. If you look at the, if you try and do the leg IK, if you grab the leg target, and you move that, you'll see that the leg bends incorrectly, bends the other opposite way. So let's go ahead and move that back. So let's go ahead and, and let me show you how to kind of overcome that a little bit. Uh, you might have to do a little bit of rigging and stuff. If we go in here into our outliner view and select the actual armature here, uh, then the armature display comes up. And then we can, I'm going to turn the, well, let's go to edit mode so I can see the armature. I'm going to turn to octahedral so you can see what's going on better. So let's go over to our side view. And, okay. Oh, here's uh, IK, uh, FK switching. There's a bunch of different uh, expressions in here. Oh, lip sync is coming. Disable for alpha 7, okay. Anyway, um, there's a whole bunch of different uh, things in here. Drivers and visibility of different options and stuff like that in here in the uh, uh, for that controls the MHX rig uh, the problem is still that you know I don't know why they rigged everything else pretty well but they rigged the um, they rigged the leg kind of strangely you can see that the leg for one thing the joint is way below the knee you would think the joint would be near the knee and also these are two separate bones I'm not sure why they did it that way uh, for one and the other thing is you know it's it's when you set up IK, you want the bones to be kind of pre-bent in the in the angle that um, you know, the angle that you want the uh, that you want the IK to bend in. So in this case, we want the bones to be bent kind of forward there. So I'm going to uh, select that knee cap, and I'm going to turn on the x-axis mirroring here, so that I only have to move one at a time. I'll move that over. All right, and then I'm going to move this guy over here. Okay. And then let's go in the front and do the same thing with the front. Let's make sure that uh, you know the legs are kind of straight. And it looks like even in the model itself that the legs are kind of kind of bowed a little bit. So you might want to go in and, and edit that a little bit beforehand. All right. So that's a little bit better. So if we go back into pose mode, and now when we lift the leg, you'll see that it's 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 uh, operating a lot better. You still have an issue because it's kind of bowing out to the side, like I said. So you'll just have to go in and 
just be aware that you'll have to go in and edit this. This is not a, a perfect rig by any stretch. Uh, you have other options though. You can, uh, let's go ahead and new and import. Okay. This is the one that I exported from Make Human using the Rigify option. So this is kind of more standard Blender rigging. Although when I brought it in, it looks like most of this stuff is not actually set up yet. So when I do this, okay, that is moving, but uh, I haven't used the Rigify tools too much, but it looks like a lot of these constraints aren't actually uh, matched up with anything yet, okay? Okay, so I've got IK here. Maybe I just have to turn the IK on or something. Uh, I haven't really played with it yet, but as you can see here, you do have some control, and the controls are built for you already, so you do have a few things that you can do. You can move the eyes and everything like that, and you can move the uh, mouth like you did before. But I think that these, um, once you set this stuff up and everything, as you can see here, the knee targets, for example, uh, they're not actually uh, causing the knee to do anything, so I guess you'd have to uh, go in here under your rig and set everything up and everything. So uh, turn on your IK and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, you can go ahead and look into that on your own. The fun, another option is just to go in and have M MHX export as a simple rig, which is probably what I'm going to be using because I just like to have more control over things. So as you can see here, it's just the bones and the face rig, and there's no actual constraints uh, at all. So everything's set up and, and weighted for you. The nice thing is that the bones and the weighting has been done and even if you're not happy with um, everything about the way that it is, it's done it, like again, I think the leg is kind of positioned kind of weirdly, but uh, you know, that, you know, the uh, creating the armatures and, and doing the weighting especially is really a hassle. That uh, that takes forever, so there's just no way around it taking a long, a long amount of time. So as you can see here, having the weighting and uh, the texturing and all that kind of stuff done for you, uh, is is really a, a, a pretty good thing to have. So this is um, this is your first look at uh, Make Human and uh, the new version at least. And so I hope that that helps you out with your uh, you know your animation endeavors.